yes, Halloween. Time for the spooky, the scary, the creepy. But I don't like that. You guys already know I have an unhaunted mansion full of pretty antiques. So I thought it would be fun to turn it into the haunted mansion for Halloween. So we're doing the pretty princess Halloween of abandoned fabulosities of all my favorite things, but just a little spooky. Very extra. Get it? So get in, losers. We're going haunting. The Sky Castle presents Halloween. Look at this. What an ominous, creepy sunrise for this video. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's like God did this just for me for the vibes. Hey guys, happy October 1st. We got a pumpkin cream chai. Uggs, we are ready to go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, baby. This place has the best Halloween decorations ever. Like, my God, they just have everything you could ever want and not want in here. Jesus, this is $300? No, thank you. Even the music they play in here? <laughs> this is how I feel I look right now. I slept in my makeup. I'm part of the decorations. Okay. <laughs> I personally am not really a spooky girly. Like, this is not really my aesthetic. I think we're gonna do more of a glam Halloween because quite frankly, I don't want this in my house. <laughs> yeah, I think more like a fancy Halloween. Like, this is kind of pretty. Something like this. Like, I love this creepy fantasy. See, stuff like this, my aesthetic, but a little goth. I actually think like a little witchy vibe could be really fun. Spooky, but like glamorous, you know? Oh, like see? Let's be her. Should probably get some spells. This is fun. See, here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is the vibe. Could be us. Are you guys ready for this? Look. <gasps> I'm not gonna lie, some of this like genuinely freaks me out. Ah uh, yes. Cheers. <laughs> These are really funny, but I don't think they really go with the vibe. Oh yes, but this does. Ooh, these are creepy. Look at these. Whoa. Here we go. This is fun. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at this. Oh man, this is what I'm talking about. Creepy black half dead looking flowers. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I gotta get that. Da -da 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 -da. It's the creepiest shopping cart I've ever had. Amazing. Okay, we got the goods. Let's ride. However, you guys already know that's not all that I got. I did that whole giant haul and uh, also came home to this. <laughs> Is this normal? I know, it's weird, George. <laughs> By the way, did you guys notice? Look at this. Did you see the big giant gaping hole where a mirror used to be? I put this on my story the other day. Okay, you guys, the weirdest thing ever just happened. I was sitting in my bed and heard a big loud crash. This mirror literally just fell and exploded. Isn't that insane? Terrifying. Wow. Such a weird start to spooky season. Da -na -na -na. Woo! Any hoozy, let's get back to the hall. Ta-da! Welcome to my house. Are you guys ready? Um so if you have been following my channel, you just saw me A, make these awesome pants. Oh baby. And B, you saw me make a giant mess of this room. <laughs> Oops. So we're gonna clean this up and get started. Play my spooky season playlist. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with this room. Ta-da, my little elevator room um, because this is now very on theme. Get the spider webs all up on there. Tilt these just a little off too. Don't try this at home. <laughs> just to be funny, we're gonna mess these up too. Do you see? <laughs> if I just tilt them off. Dun, 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 dun. Looks so creepy. <laughs> I'm crazy. Side note of all the utterly bizarro things I have in my house, I think number one is an exact same carbon replica 
of the chandelier I already have. But this one's broken, so I'm just gonna put some creepy spider webs on it and make it look like it fell off the ceiling. The fact that I just have this is so funny. Okay, anyways. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I'm like gonna put some of the floating candles in here so it looks like it literally just fell and got creepy. I know George is kind of scary, huh? Ooh. Okay guys, we interrupt this video for a very exciting nonsense announcement. Look at this. This is a very hectic little day, but oh my gosh, you guys, my chandelier is finally getting hung. Oh, this is thrilling. George in jail is making me laugh so hard. I'm sorry, honey. You look so happy even in jail. I'll show you guys that when it's done, but for now, back to Halloween. Alright, so now we're gonna do this little piano section. Which what I'm gonna start with is of course the creepy cobweb spider webs. I'm obsessed with these. I literally am just going to kind of put this all over it like this. There we go. Looks pretty good. <laughs> When you guys ask me what I'm doing on a Friday night, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty freaking creepy. I really should get someone to dust in here. All right, now we're gonna take the creepy little taxidermy butterflies and we're going to decorate. Ta-da! Fun fact, you don't even need tape or anything. They just set right on there. Whoa, beautiful. We'll just put those guys all over the place. Decorate the table. We're gonna do a little something creepy. Actually gonna steal some creepy looking books from the library. I think this one's pretty and scary. And also check this out. Almost all of these are crazy old, by the way, like this one. These books are all just so old, it's insane. Like 1883. Snatched from the fire, the heart of hearts, the imperishable poems. Whoa. Yep, okay, this one's going out somewhere. <laughs> Plus we'll put one of my other old books open like this with my old frame. Oh, this is literally so fun. <laughs> literally just going crazy. I'm gonna put cobwebs on everything. Butterflies on there. Oh, freaky. Cover all the flowers too. <laughs> my giant crap room, I know. <laughs> so much random shit in here, but you know this random couch that I've had for a really long time that's literally falling apart. <gasps> I think this will be perfect for Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Go, we got Julia here. Say hi, Julia. Hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is like Woo! Squat. Yeah. Woo. Okay. So, um, here we go. We're going to, I don't know why I have so much shit. Oh, I was looking for this. <laughs> this is a mess. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. Is it gonna it's fall literally apart? falling apart. It's going to fall Okay. Oh, Holy right. shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They have made it in. <laughs> Like, bruh, this is gonna be so perfect. So, here is all the stuff from Z Hall, um, but organized just a little better. So, let's put it places. All right, guys, so as you saw in the haul, I bought a lot of candelabras, um, and as punishment now for not having a boyfriend, I have to put them together myself. Ugh. I love DIYs and crafts. Assembly, on the other hand, not so much. I also really don't like to read the directions, so. DIY! Oh my sure. Ta-da! Oh, that's gonna be a fabulous. One's done. Um, however, plot twist, I actually bought a ton of these, so we have quite a few more to put together. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> I put this one together already, you guys. I helped. <laughs> I helped. I had a lot you of You did help. Too. This is not in your job description, but. No, it's not. Not one bit. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Woo! That looks better, too, anyway. I, I'm just gonna stop. You can finish it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yay! Everybody! We like, comment, subscribe! I learned something new today. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! All right, guys. Look at this. It already looks kind of creepy. Okay, so what I think we should do first is start with the layout of the room and to put the big things where I think they should go. All right. First things first is we're going to do the floating candles. Oh! I didn't get batteries yet. Damn it. 
Right, are you guys ready for a very haunted Target run? <laughs> Store is closing in five minutes, so we've got to go fast. But we gotta get some batteries. Hey, haul, bitches. Oh my gosh, but wait. Oh. No, I need to focus. I need to go home. <laughs> Do I see the moon right now? That's crazy. All right, let's assemble these, babies. You see the invisible string right there? They come with these little sticks, and I just stick them on the thing, hook the string through, and dangle them. Oh, it's starting to look creepy. <laughs> wow, even without them turned on. Whoa. They really look like they're floating. Look at them, you guys. That's so crazy. It actually comes with literally a magic wand to turn them on. Are you guys ready? Let's see. Ta-da. Whoa! That's the sickest thing I've ever seen. Wow! <laughs> and look at the other. Oh, I forgot to turn those on. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. And the little guy? What? Oh no. <gasps> Did I not put the batteries in there right? Oh my gosh, yay! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, amazing. Now that is f spooky. I love it. Honestly, we could be done. <laughs> All right, so here I'm gonna do my little witching spell area. So we're gonna start with a little tray like this and obviously my crystal ball. Boop. Magic. <laughs> you guys already know I collect perfumes, which honestly I already like because they just look like, you know, little potions. So we're gonna take some of my freakiest, most favorites up here so they look like little potions. Add in my favorite box. Some random rose petals. Ooh, it's looking scary. Decorate the rest of it with some of my favorite little sayings. The little mantra necklace, you guys know this one. Um, and of course the awe, but what if it does necklace. For a little bit of extra magic. You wanna take the packages to the post office, Boogeyman? You do? Okay, can you do it for me? <laughs> but look at that black and white. They look so beautiful. A little extra Halloween magic is sprinkled on them too. Okay, so now I decided to try to make those cheesecloth ghosts that I was talking about in my haul that I saw on Pinterest. Okay guys, I don't even know what I just did. Tried to do this. We'll see how this goes. Any man's game at this point. <laughs> So I'm just gonna let this dry and uh, I'll deal with it in the morning. <laughs> Not me using a trash bag for this. <gasps> All right guys, let's see if this worked. Uh, what do you think, George, did it work? Oh God, I'm nervous. <laughs> First of all, this is so scary. Okay, let's see. Oh my God! <gasps> oh, George! <gasps> Oh, it's gonna work. Look at that. <laughs> this is the skirt. Just wait, I'm gonna make this make sense, guys. You guys ready to see my floating dress? Ta-da! I kind of just safety pinned it together and molded it a little bit extra, but this is what it ended up looking like. Honestly, pretty freaking cool. Look at that, you guys. It really looks like it's floating. That's insane. That was the last thing, so um, I'm gonna wait till it actually gets dark and give you guys the tour. So to put a couple of final touches on the house, um, I decided for my frames to print out a couple of like spooky little Halloween themed photos. Like this one's one of my favorites ever. <laughs> Whoa, I tried to print this photo, which is literally one of my favorite photos ever. And um, damn, it came out even scarier than that. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Somehow way more terrifying. Copy and pasted some spells off Google. Gonna be gorgeous. <laughs> Put the tablecloth on the table, throw some of my postcards and old stuff in little old frames that I had. You look so scary in the dark, baby. Light all the candles. It's time for the tour. All right, guys. It is officially the witching hour. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, it's scary! So in here, here's what I did. 
First of all, I made the chandelier so scary. I even unscrewed some of the light bulbs so it would be a little extra freaky. Same with these. <laughs> to match that one, we have the chandelier that just accidentally fell on the floor. Put some of those light up candles in there to make it scarier. Dried rose petals on the floor to make it seem like these like died. Bro. It's actually kind of pretty in a weird, ugly way. From that corner to this corner, I have the Louis Vuitton trunk all covered in cobwebs. My antique granny shoes. Oh. Painting also falling out of the frame. Again, absolutely incredible things that I just had that were broken laying around my house. So that's this room. Do you want to see the rest of the house? Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's so scary. Beautiful. In like the creepiest way ever. Okay, so here's this little mini tour. So you can see the piano. I just made this look so creepy with the butterflies and the cobwebs. Like I said, these were the real taxidermy butterflies. So gross, but beautiful. You can see I literally put them all over the piano with the cobwebs. Who would have thought I would buy such an expensive thing and then put cobwebs on it on purpose? I even put spider webs on here. Woo! I don't play piano, you guys know that, but I have two of my most favorite songs that I printed out and then just ripped up the paper to make it look old and scary. Are you ready for my mood setting piano concierto? Whoa! Oh, that's, that was pretty good actually for the mood. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This is what I ended up putting on the creepy little table, the candelabra. And then, of course, just some old books and cobwebs here. In one of my little old gold frames that I have, I put a little spell in there. The butterfly opened to a creepy old page of a creepy old book. Ugh, this is so aesthetic. Oh my gosh, I actually love the vibes. And of course, with all the mirrors everywhere, it just kind of makes it look like all the dimensions, you know? <laughs> Oh, maybe I like Halloween decor after all. Oh, wicked good. Okay, so we'll take a break from the spooky center for a second. And uh, do you guys want to see something pretty? Of course you do. So, fright this way. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen <gasps> it's so gorgeous i'm gonna cry you can see all the crystals oh my gosh look at that <gasps> it's beautiful worth every little spell cast dun, 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 dun. oh my gosh would you look at that I love it. This is where I ended up putting my little witching corner, by the way. Ta-da! We got the little black cat, and of course, my favorite witch boots, with my witch broom propped up, ready to go, and my good spell book, of course. You know what they say, if the broom fits. Save a horse, ride a broomstick. Oh my knee! <laughs> oh, George, I'm too old for this. I mean, I am 3,333 years old, after all. Okay, so, are you ready for the rest of the house tour? Mm-hmm. I honestly barely didn't even do this room at all. It's the ballroom that you guys want to see. So, are you ready? do 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 ta na 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 Are you ready? Presenting the Haunted Mansion. You nailed it. Oh, wow. I am blown away by how cool this came out. Okay, so um, 
here is the Haunted Mansion tour. Okay, so we'll start with the obvious. These are the coolest things that I have ever seen in my life. I am so obsessed with these. These just came out so good. The fact that you use a magic wand to control them. Oh, bippity boppity. Pew. <laughs> wow. Over here, we have our little witching hour section. It looks so beautiful. So I put some of my favorite little spell looking books out on display. Obviously, we got the candelabras. Got some of my kinkier books out um, for this section, but you can see I put some of the butterflies in this little jewelry thing that I have. Again, the dried rose petals, all of my little perfumes and potions and lotions and such and such and such. A couple of other spells. Got the crystal ball in the center there. And my most favorite little book. You know, I know everything's always my favorite, but I can't help it. Everything is my favorite. And then of course my personal favorite little spells. You know, I got the mantra necklace out there on display. And my little ah, but what if it does necklace? Like I wrote on my list of 30 things I learned when I turned 30, words cast spells. So that's that little section. Whoa, this looks so freaky good. It's gorgeous, I love it. So that's that. Um, here, these frames are actually extremely, extremely heavy, by the way, so I couldn't take them off the wall myself. <laughs> so instead of actually putting pictures in them, I just had to like stick pictures outside of the frames, but whatever. This is one of my favorite photos of all time. I love it. You can see I ripped it to make it just look a little older and creepier. This is the devilly version. And then on this side, I put the angelic version, which I also love. Hades Persephone aesthetic. Oh my gosh, is just my favorite. Yes, yes, that is the photo and the messages from my Instagram. Which y'all freaked out over, by the way. Like I said, don't worry, I'm still a lady of the streets. It's just fun to dress up and make go. It's Halloween. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, I forgot, look at this, look what else I did. I put the little owl with all of my books sitting there and of course the creepy clock. Ooh. Covered the harp with cobwebs. I covered the chairs with cobwebs. Play something evil. Thank you and good night. <laughs> I covered the flowers with cobwebs and also again with the rose petals on the floor just to kind of make it look like they're dying. <laughs> this is like the opposite of a makeover. I'm trying to make everything look worse. I'm gonna leave these up year round, I don't even care. <laughs> so this corner, of course I have the owl from my haul. Another one of those candelabras, just because those are scary looking. Oh, you can see the taxidermy butterflies. Look at how cool, the actually I think this is a moth, but whatever. Honestly, exactly what I would imagine my house would end up looking like if it was abandoned in like 300 years. Yeah. Oh no, I just realized I forgot to switch out the photos in the frame. Damn it. Oh well, I guess this is kind of freaky anyway. Okay, I was gonna switch these photos out, but I forgot, so there's that. Here, this actually really, honestly looks quite a lot like a real ghost dress, especially with the city lights behind. Wow, so cool. I love her, I actually made her a boyfriend. This is a floating tie that I forgot to hang up. But that was gonna be like that. Honestly, it doesn't even really look like a tie. It looks a lot more like the vibrator. <laughs> anyway. Mm -mm. You go, girl. If you got it, haunt it. <laughs> like, look at it in the background. <gasps> oh, it looks just like me. That's gonna be my ghost outfit. Making a dress out of cheesecloth. Nostalgic. Again, this corner came out so freaky. Um, I actually love this. Hilarious that I just had, again, this like random, literally, as you can see, completely broken chair that really just works perfectly for this. But again, we got the two candelabras just to make it a little spooky ooky. Feather fan that I got in my stripper video on here. And the little white cat looks scary real. Again, the freaky little butterflies. Look at that. Ooh, 
My perfectly already off-center wonky doorknobs are perfect for this video. Decorated my little side table with the antique phone. Threw some pearls on there for fun. And then these are actually some of my favorite vintage postcards that I got at a flea market. You guys remember me buying these in, I think New York is where I got these, but doesn't that look kind of haunted with no back? Such a vibe. Silent night. Holy fright. It looks so good. Wow. Wow. These floating candles are seriously so insanely cool. Ra, da, 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 da. So, that was um, me turning my house into the haunted mansion. Happy Halloween! Wishing you the most spooktacular day. And of course, night. Merry Halloween to all, and to all a good fright. Do y'all not make out with your friends?